3340 Sports Desk with Johnny Cogden. Our first Saturday with that SEC football star, a handful of big matchups on the hardwood. And let's start with the Crimson Tide, who took the trip north of the border to Toronto to square off with the number four Purdue Boilermakers. And the Tide would get off to a red hot start. Aaron Estrada from the corner. The Hofstra transfer, Bam is up 5 0. And then the story all day for the Tide Muscle Shoals native Mark Sears. He'll pull up from way beyond the arc. Tied on top 30 to 18. Purdue would settle in and take the lead in the second half, but with under five to play, Bama down two. Not anymore. Sears from the corner. Up one. Three of his career high. 35 points, but at the end of the day, too much Zach Eady. 35 for him on the day. He gets this big bucket here off the glass and the foul. Purdue wins it 92-86. Bama falls to six and three on the young season. Meanwhile, back a little closer to home in Atlanta, Bruce Pearl and his Auburn Tigers had an opportunity to earn yet another impressive non-conference victory, this time against the Indiana Hoosiers out of the Big Ten. Auburn trailing 16-6. to Time to cut into that 10-point deficit. Katie Johnson is going to float that up no good, but Dylan Cardwell comes up and cleans it off the glass. Auburn rolling early later. It's Johnson up and under. And the foul. Auburn up 34-27, and he is pumped. And later in the second half, more KD Johnson. Step back three-pointer. Tigers take a 21-point lead. Auburn goes into the ATL and takes down the Hoosiers 104-76 to the final. UAB on the road in Jonesboro taking on Arkansas State. Leading 17-16, make it 20. But a Johnson from the wing. Later in the first, Blazers trailing by nine. They'll find Tony, Tony in the corner. A name so nice, he named him twice. Nothing but net puts it in the bottom of the hoop, but ultimately too much Red Wolves in this one. Avery Feltz, one dribbling up, buries his own three, three of his 15, and Arkansas State gets the win 87 to 68. UAB falls to four and five on the season. Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts, home to the New England Patriots, but today home to the annual Army-Navy game. We'll pick up the action with a little under five minutes to play. Army leads 10 to three, but they're going to add to it. Army linebacker Caleb Fortner, a 44 yard fumble return, 17 to three Black Knights. This one would come all the way down to the final play of the game. And from the one yard line trailing by eight with under three seconds to play, that will do it. Army would take a on purpose safety. So the final score would be 17 to 11 and Army, they win their second straight Commander Chiefs Trophy, and then later on tonight, of course, it's the thing all college football fans are looking forward to, the Heisman Trophy, local Bo Nix, former Auburn quarterback, currently with Oregon, and then, of course, LSU quarterback Jaden Daniels is the Vegas favorite to win the award, and then we'll have a little Major League Baseball news coming up tonight at 10 as well. I think this was like the first Saturday in a long time without like minutes and minutes and minutes of college football. Non-stop football. How does it feel? Hey, once the weather changes, you know it's <laughs> time. And and before you know what March Madness will be. Here. 